is a Ready Start classroom. Hi, Henry. How are you? It is a, a blended classroom of typically developing and special needs three to five year olds. Say hello, hello, hello. We're getting these kids ready for kindergarten, so it is a very, very important time developmentally for them. Children learn and thrive in play. And that is very much a part of what we do, but it's within parameters. It's teaching them how to self-regulate, how to negotiate. C, good. B. Beautiful job. Preschool is important because it gives the kids the opportunity to learn some foundational skills before they hit kindergarten. Um, we know that all children can learn, but some kids, it might take them a little extra time, different kind of programming, different accommodations to help them learn. <laughs> the program runs Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. It's two and a half hours from the time they walk in the door until they leave. They are busy. We, we challenge them at all levels. <laughs> We have a, a curriculum that we use, and we use it as a guideline. Lila, what letter was this? T. T. We touch on every letter of the alphabet, how to recognize them, how to form them, what sounds they make. By the end of the year, they're grouping letters together to blend in that beginning reading. They're also learning to take words apart, which helps them understand how words are formed. Pizza. What are you We've got this variety of children who can learn from each other and that's not saying that it's children with special needs who learn from the typical kids, it goes both ways. All children can learn from each other and to be able to have children with special needs with typically developing um, children is better than anything I could have ever imagined. It's a wonderful program. very first scientific procedure that you were asked to complete? I teach a class of highly capable fourth and fifth graders in the Quest program here at Ben Franklin Elementary. Uh, I have seven steps, but the seventh step is optional. When you write a scientific procedure, you can't assume that the person that's reading it is going to be able to read your mind. Quest is a program that the district operates to make sure that our most highly capable students in our system are challenged every day in their classrooms. Our project that we worked on just now was writing a scientific procedure for a skill that is comes naturally to us at this point. The procedure I wrote has eight steps. The focus was to take something that they are very adept at and try to break it down into simpler terms so that they can teach a younger person how to do that. This one's in the back, right? We need a little buddy classroom because these kids are so often placed in classroom environments with older children or maybe in after school activities. So getting the chance to see them interact and teach and learn from younger children is a really positive opportunity for them. We have practiced as fourth and fifth graders how to write the procedure or the how to for how to tie our shoes. Cross it, pick it down there. So close. It was really challenging for them to think, how can I take something that I just do based on rote memory and put it to words? And words that are understandable by a younger person. Let's make another loop and let's make this one a little bit bigger. Cross, cross, cross. okay, cross. Tie my shoe. I just modeled to my buddy and she actually got it pretty quickly. This is going to be eventually applied to when we do our science fair projects, needing to break down a scientific procedure in such a way that anybody could replicate it perfectly. He just needs a tiny bit of help on like just making the final knot, but he's pretty good. So the procedure is working well. Little buddies, thank you so much for letting us learn how to teach something. We've been thinking about this for over a week now, how to, how to come in here and try to share a skill with you. So thank you so much for letting us do that. Keys. Remember that was our spelling word? Yeah. <laughs> so the ELL program, or English Language Learners, is for students who are either new to the country or their first language is one other than English. Oil. I know everyone's having a hard time with the word oil. Just in the program, we have between 18 and 20 different languages, um, and there is quite more just even in our school. A lot of students here at Rose Hill and in our school district are bilingual or trilingual. It's pretty hard to listen to all the teachers and like the first month. When you have an international student in your classroom, you need to know their background, um, their cultural background, and their values, and make sure those values and cultures are represented somehow in your class. I'm really excited because today you're sharing your culture and your recipes with us. We had a lot of assignments that are learning about other cultures, like now they, they had uh, like a food assignment. Pastera is Japanese 
sponge cake. Or like essays about the country and how is it different from here. When I first came here, I had to think what I want to say first and then say it. But now I can just start talking without having anything planned in my head. I think the greatest challenge is knowing, are they getting it? Are they progressing? It's more than just a score daily work. You want them to feel comfortable. You want them to feel that they're owning their knowledge and that they're fitting in. It's about bringing these students and their cultures together. It's about revealing to them the strengths they already have. When I came in sixth grade, um, I really didn't know anything. And I was just kind of that person that is just out there and just like only speaks, speaks one language. and. Now I have friends that are only from my culture and they speak English only or like English and some other language from other cultures and that really helped me for my social life and my educational life. If there's something else out there like it, how is yours different? I pitched the idea of being able to blend business, engineering, and computer science together. Fumbling over your words, you want it to look professional. And bring a capstone course here to Eastlake. Bringing those students that have the different skill sets um, to be able to come together, do challenges that would be real world challenges, partnering with businesses to solve those problems. Verizon challenged us to make an innovative app and we figured that we might as well tackle one of the more harder to deal with issues. We look at why kids bully other kids over the internet and we figured we'd take a page from that book and design something that allows students that are maybe having a difficult time at home to discreetly talk to a counselor without even having to go face to face. The first day of the project we just had a brainstorming session. So you have your hook, a testimonial. Of it's not a typical class and there aren't opportunities like this um, you know, in other schools that I, that I know of. We recently just finished a partnership with Evergreen Health where we were able to take the kids to the Kirkland campus of Evergreen Health and they were able to go through the design process where they posed design challenges, design problems. It was uh, breathtaking and awe-inspiring for these kids because they have their work validated in a way that we couldn't give them. They were able to return back to Evergreen Health and pitch their solutions to the CEO and VPs, board of directors. When we presented it to the CEO of Evergreen Health, um, he asked us if he can bring it up in a meeting with um, an airline. This class especially, uh, more than just this project, but this class has taught me a lot about you know uh, processes for, for developing ideas and thoughts and um, you know working through uh, what you really need to get to in a project. That's the why behind this class. You're allowing students in a real world environment to make connections out of all their education and bring it together in a spot where they can comfortably make mistakes and fail in order to have success.